Finally, in the blacks, we increase the magenta and decrease the yellow, so that we get a nice purple tint in the shadows and the pale skin effect is ready. Here is a quick soft pale skin effect recreated in Affinity Photo as per request of a viewer. Link to the original video is in the description. The idea of this effect is to make a pale skin and create a washed out look which is done by applying two adjustments. The first adjustment is a black and white adjustment where the red and the blue will be lowered in order to remove most colors except the skin colors. This is achieved by applying this black and white adjustment in lighten blend mode. To keep a bit of color, the opacity is lowered to around 80%. By the way, here's a quick tip. If you're planning to use this black and white adjustment more often, you can create a preset. Once you give it a name and save it, it will be available in the adjustments panel. The second adjustment is a selective color adjustment which will be used to bring back contrast and color selectively. First, in the reds we adjust the values to make the red stronger. In the yellows we increase the strength of the yellows and finally in the blacks we increase the magenta and decrease the yellow so that we get a nice purple tint in the shadows which suits this image very well. And the pale skin effect is ready. Additionally, we can add a fill layer and apply a gradient which will start in light cyan from the top right and fades away to transparent, which will create a kind of light leak on the top right. We can have it blend in with screen with a lower opacity. I'm also going to apply a blend range to it as I find the effect of this gradient too strong. The effect be very subtle now. And to bring it back a tiny bit, I'm going to duplicate it and reset the blend range, change the blend mode to color dodge and lower the opacity to around 10%. By applying it this way, we get a much more subtle color effect. To finish up in the same way as the original video, I'm going to add a pixel layer and use my custom brush with my signature and stamp it on the bottom right. If you're interested in making custom brushes, check my video on the subject. Link will be in the description. After I lower the opacity of the signature, I think we're done. Thank you for watching and until the next video.